News, Action News 5 has learned two of three recruiters shot at a National Guard armory in Millington today have been released from the Met. This is a picture of Major Jeff Crawford shortly after his release. Also breaking, Action News 5 has learned Sergeant First Class Amos Patton of Cordova is suspected of shooting his commanding officers. We were the only station there as the FBI searched the home of the suspected National Guard armory shooter tonight. Now, here is what we know right now on this breaking story. Two National Guard recruiting commanders were shot at the Tennessee National Guard Armory just outside the Millington Naval Base just after lunchtime. The base was put on lockdown at that time. Guardsmen took down the shooter before police arrived. That suspect, Amos Patton, is in custody tonight. Both victims are now in non-critical condition. I just got off the phone with a reliable source who told me Major Jeff Crawford came to Millington today specifically to fire Amos Patton, an 18-year National Guard veteran, for disciplinary reasons. Here's an amazing image. Major Jeff Crawford, one of the top brass recruiting for Tennessee Army National Guard, enjoying dinner at a Mid-South restaurant tonight after being released from the Met. Crawford suffered a gunshot wound clear through his thigh. Here's how a highly reliable source tells the sequence of events today. Amos Patton went to his car in the midst of his meeting with his commanders and retrieved a computer bag and a fanny pack. Patton then asked to go to the restroom. The commanders insisted the computer bag remain with them, but no one noticed the fanny pack. That's when Patton wheeled around and took a semi-automatic 380 pistol out of his fanny pack. All the guardsmen shouted, gun. A source says Patton emptied his weapon. Seven to ten shots were fired, but Major Crawford and others jumped on Patton wrestled him to the ground and were able to keep the gun pointed down. Crawford was shot in the thigh as I reported. The bullet went clean through his leg. He has an entrance and exit wound. A sergeant was struck in the foot and a third guardsman was winged, grazed in the arm. The source says the third and until now unreported victim was treated and released from the med. After Patton emptied his weapon, guardsmen detained Patton until Millington police arrived. Within hours of that shooting, the FBI descended on the home of Amos Patton. Action News 5's Janice Broach is live now with what she's learned about this suspect. Janice? Well, Amos Patton's Cordova neighbors were flabbergasted when I told them he's the suspect in that Millington Armory shooting. Now the FBI, the lead agency in this investigation, is pouring over evidence. I'm pretty shocked. I couldn't imagine him shooting anybody. David Thornton thought his neighbor, Sergeant First Class Amos Patton, was having a party because of all the cars parked at his house. Instead, it was FBI agents inside Patton's home. Patton, a Tennessee National Guard recruiter, is accused of shooting and wounding two of his commanders at the Millington Armory. Patton's next-door neighbor, who did not want to be identified, moved in two months ago. And he was very nice. Introduced himself, asked if we ever need anything to come over wife the same thing said anytime you need anything he's a great guy he he's uh he's always you know looked out for my house he's got great kids great family great values he's a he's a great dude investigators say the shooting suspect used a small handgun to shoot his commanders in the foot and leg and you never think that something like this is going to happen uh, on your watch or, or in, in in good you know good old tennessee here and unfortunately it, it, it did happen Investigators say Patton's bosses had come to town to talk with him about, quote, administrative policies and procedures when the shooting happened. Millington police say Patton ran off right after the shooting, but two guardsmen caught him and subdued him. I'm sure they could have been more injured if they hadn't uh, taken control of the situation. Police say Patton did not speak and seemed to be in a daze while he was transported to the Millington jail where he was questioned by the FBI. Now, no one answered the door of Patton's home when I knocked. Now, tomorrow morning, Patton is scheduled to be here in federal court. And after that, a news conference is expected. Stay with Action News 5 for the latest developments in this story. Live downtown, Janice Broach, Action News 5. And we are constantly learning new details of this breaking story. We'll bring them to you as we get them. If a shooting were to happen at your workplace, would you know what to do? Coming up at 1014, we're investigating what the proper response is and how to make sure you get out alive. But right now, temperatures are dipping low tonight. A freeze warning.